uh, him, you know, he spoke pre-match um, and it was about connecting the dots. It was about um, the players getting on the field and, and sharing with me the things that we've been working on um, and, and to, to put on a performance. Um, I think we, we started slow. I think we started, and I say slow, slow and playing how we wanted to play. Um, we, we rushed a lot of, of, of our passes um, and, and we didn't we didn't work to build the ball um, early enough in the match um, but again the objective was to go out and to get a victory and, and to get a, a pretty big victory um, you know when you play these games you know you watch your opposition um, leading up into the match and, and we felt confident enough um, to get the victory tonight but we had to keep the players grounded but I think the girls came out and did the job that we wanted them to do um, we wanted to, to build something we wanted to play out of the back um, you know, we want to engage our, our number nine and our number ten a lot early in the match. Um, and so we attempted to do that. But um, very impressed with, with all the girls played tonight. That's such a big it's coming out, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I had to offer her jacket, but she, she Thank didn't you. want it. <laughs> Still on fire from tonight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach, I'm Captain. Um, you, you've been with these girls battling, battling, battling. What, what, was, your, what was your impression of tonight's battle? Yeah, I mean, it's we're all fired up. We did what we wanted to do. We wanted to come out here and show Bermuda what we're made of. We wanted to make a mark as we keep taking steps forward. You know, I'm, I don't have words right now. I mean, this is just amazing. It's the first time women's football in Bermuda has played at home ground. So many girls stepped up to the plate. We finished, you know, on halftime. We wanted to do more, you know, like Coach said. We came out, nerves, a little bit slow. So we wanted to just keep going forward. And now we're just so excited on what's next. And I'm really proud of every single person a part of our team. And Leilani, how important was that first girl to settle down the team? Because it looked like we were getting a bit antsy there. Yeah, definitely. I think we were all, uh, we knew it was going to come. We just didn't know when. Um, like Coach Keita and Ava said, um, just being able to slow down how we were playing and make sure, like, obviously with the, with the crowd in, um, like there were nerves. But um, I think we understood what we needed to do and understood how we could play and then just about get the first goal and then they went to that. And I think the goals were like good goals, like, you know, um, they were just like, you know, pokings or whatever it is. I think we played some good football leading up to the goals and there's definitely a lot to take from the first goal. Peter, so it reflects on that, and the captain, you see the, the significance not just the result, obviously the qualification wasn't there, but to play in front of a home crowd for the first time, nearly 800 people here on home soil. Talk me through the significance of that and, and, and the pride for the girls to play in front of the home crowd. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this has been talked about since the draw happened and, and since we knew who we were going to be playing at home. Unfortunately, we couldn't play the Cayman Islands at home, but um, it's very significant because with what we have moving forward, you know, um, the next set of competitions, we now have a crowd, you know, we'll have more than 800 next time, you know, people will come out to watch these girls. And I've been saying it forever that uh, this team deserves to play in front of the home crowd. They deserve to play. The amount of work that they have put in, um, you know, the local players and the overseas players have just put so much effort and work and, and, and they understand where they need to be and what they need to do to be able to perform. And this wasn't even their best performance, you know. Um, but it was a performance that we needed to, to get the crowd behind us. And, you know, it was very good at the end, just, you know, seeing the fans and clapping for the girls and hearing the comments and how much they enjoyed the game. And it could have gone on for another 20 minutes. And, you know, those types of things. So that's what we wanted um, to bring tonight to, to the stadium. It feels like a major step for the women's game. Not, not, not just for the national team, but in general, to have, to have this first step, this big step. You yeah. said that the future's bright, right? For the girls Absolutely. Game. I mean, we had the under-15 girls as, as all girls. You know, we have our under-17s even on Monday um, to head to their World Cup qualify. We had a couple of those girls along on this trip. Um, number 19 that we brought on is, is one of the um, under 17 players who, you know, gave her a little taste as well. Um, you know, she deserves it. So, you know, it, it just, it, it shows the younger girls a path. Like, this is who, you, you can be this person in a few years. So it's, it's great for the women's game. And then, if you saw I mean, to have to have a home crowd to hear that, you said that the captain clapping, you know, in front of the 20 minutes of clapping, it could go on for a long time. Mm -hmm. How special was that fit for you? You, you? you played around the world and not have fans there to have a home crowd. It must be great. It really is. It's indescri it's undescribable. Like, it's hard to put into words. You know, we have our family, we have our friends up there, and I experienced it at U20, and I just was so excited for these other girls to experience it, and also just knowing what is to come. Um, I really hope that a lot of people have shown, have seen what we are capable of, and like Coach said, we also know that we are even better than tonight. And I'm just so excited for what is in the future and what 
Bermuda football is really going to do because this is truly just a start and we are making such big steps to such a great future. Yeah. Nikita, can you uh, highlight some of the, the performances you thought were outstanding tonight? Oh, definitely, obviously, Leilani, um, not just the girls, but her, her work rate, you know, and that's been her work rate throughout this entire tournament. I'm just glad that tonight she got a chance to reward herself. I think Ava settled us down a bit more in the second half, um, the second half of the first half and then the second half. Um, Mia Christopher, again, you know, she's pretty consistent as well. I think that Vicky, um, Victoria Davis is, has been a, a solid, um, she's played every minute of every match um, in this um tournament and, and she's just been phenomenal and, and to score the goal in which she scored tonight it's just a reward for her um you know in other areas you know we, we changed some people's position young emily cabral usually operates as a six or eight you know we put her outside at the seventh in the seventh position but um you know as a whole the team performed well you know players played to their level um and so you know it's, it's difficult to just single out players as, as I did just now but you know I think that everyone in their rules played well tonight. Um, Trinae Edwards um, got her, her first start and, and played the entire 90. You know, she's been working to get to that position so you know she should she should what she can do. Um, yeah obviously my goalkeeper didn't have a whole lot of work to do um, but when she did when she was called upon make sure she kept the goal out of the net. What's your big takeaway from tonight? Um, my big takeaway from tonight is that these girls understand how we are looking to play and that we know that with more games, we are going to be able to show and be able to play even better the way how we want to play, defensively and offensively. Um, the hard part as a coach tonight was that I couldn't get everybody on the field. And, and one of the takeaways from that is that understanding that that's just part of the game and knowing that they just have to keep working hard to, to get their chance. So um, I'm looking forward to what the future holds for us. Um, and. You know, I can't really pinpoint one real takeaway. Um, just this entire experience is a lot for me to now go on my vacation and I'll reflect when I get a chance to and, 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 and work to move forward. Any questions? Um, actually, for me, I'm a fan of both of you guys, Sid and Abra. I was highly, highly impressed with the girls' ability to read all the that was evident. That was very evident in what circumstances it is, who needs, who needs what at what time, making correct passes to the correct people at the correct time. Where does where, where, where does that experience come from that you were able to read the circumstances of the team? I mean, for um, for Leilani and I, we've had a lot of football, but at the same time, my coach says we understand the system that we're trying to play now. So it really comes from that. It comes from the preparation that we've had together. We haven't had a huge lot of preparation. That's why it's so exciting for what's going to come into the future when we have more games. But doing the right pass and doing the right thing is a collective understanding of what we're trying to do, what we're trying to build, and where when then we lose it into our shape. And we really have a system of what we're trying to do and what we're trying to play. And I think from our experiences and that collective together, and from coach, they're all just, and everyone that's helped us, it comes to that. But it definitely comes down to we understand what we're trying to do. And it'll only get better as we keep having more experiences and we become even better in 2023.